I know I'm going to take care of that. But Salam, Salam, Most High in your house, I bless you all for being here today. Uh, today's class is King Solomon, the third and last king of Israel. Uh, king Solomon ruled for 40 years. He ruled from 971 to 931 B.C. Um, one of the great kings of Israel. Solomon means bring it of peace. Bring her of peace. Let's go to Psalms of Solomon. One and five. One and one. The book of Psalms of Solomon. Uh, one and one. We're going to deal with the characteristic, the color first, because for some reason, you know, everybody's painted white, uh, red. Read that, Psalms 1 and 1. Psalms of Solomon 1 and 1. The Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. The Psalms of Solomon, which is Solomon. So we know Solomon wrote a lot of books, too, and a lot of Proverbs. Drop down to verse 5. Verse 5, I am black. What color was Solomon? I am black. See, they'll never bring this out in your Christian church. Read. But comely. But beautiful. You know that's how we used to say back in the day. Read. O ye daughters of Jerusalem. The peoples. Read. As the tents of Kadar. Kadar means dark skin. Read. As the curtains of Solomon. Read on. Look not upon me. Because I am black. See, how do you get past this? How do these Christian churches still uh, tiptoe over these scriptures? But a lot of them got the NIV now, so that's why. It, it just says something else now. Read. Because the sun had looked upon me. Because when we standing out in the sun, it charges up our melon. Read. My mother's children were angry with me. They, were, they made me the keeper of the vineyards. But my own vineyard have have I not kept. So Solomon letting you know he didn't keep his own vineyard. He didn't do right by the kingdom. Uh, jump over to Psalms of Solomon. Psalms of Solomon 5 and 10. Killing the myth, the lies. Read that. The book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 10. My beloved is white and ruddy. See, that's another mistranslation right there. They're white. Is going into dazzling, or glowing, or sunny, or bright. It's not, it's not, uh, read it again. My beloved is white and ruddy. Glowing and ruddy. Ruddy means beautiful. Let's uh, go to uh, Esther 15, the book of Esther 15 and 5. Anybody got a, not got an apocrypha? Two people? Three? Give me some apocrypha. I mean, two, three. Hey, y'all can use those. Pass them on back, man. Pass one to the sisters, two to the sisters, and one back there. Let's go to the book of Esther in the apocrypha. Book of Esther in the Apocrypha, uh, 15 and 5. See, we'll get always a precept, or always to tell you and give you the understanding of what he's saying. <clears throat> Read that. The book of Esther in the Apocrypha, chapter 15, verse 5. And she was ruddy through the perfection of her beauty. See, that's what that word ruddy means, beauty. Read. And her countenance was cheerful and very amenable, but her heart was in anguish for fear. Right, read. That's, that's good on that. Now let's go to uh, 1 Samuel 16 and 11. Uh, 
You write these precepts down because they're good to know for, for reference. 1 Samuel 16 and 11, and we're going to read it down to verse 13. Read. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 11. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Here are all thy children. And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. King David, read. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. Read on. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. Verse 12. And he said, and brought him in. Now he was ruddy. What was he? He was ruddy. Read on. And with all of a beautiful countenance. See. Precept upon precept. Read. And goodly to look at. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. So we understand this is King David. This is King Solomon's father. Read. Verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forth. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramoth. So, Judah, give me a Desanaville, page 5 and 10, page 510. Let's look up the word ruddy. This is in Desanaville Diction Bible Dictionary. So we we'll get that myth out that King Solomon was some kind of pale skinned Edomite. Read that. Of the Zondering Compact Bible Dictionary, the word ruddy. A word used to refer to a red or fair complexion. See, it's not nothing, you know, we used to call light skinned people what? Red. It's in our spirit, man. Read. In contrast to the dark skin of the Hebrews. King Solomon was a Hebrew from the tribe of Judah. Let's go back. Songs of Solomon 5 and 10. That's, we're going to finish uh, dissecting this thing because if you're going to bring out uh, information on King Solomon, it, 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 it is very important that you let them know how King Solomon looked. Read. The book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 10. My beloved is white and ruddy. He's white. That's that white. And see, and they, they put that in there, man. We know that it's a mistranslation. It means to dazzling or glowing or bright or sunny. And that ruddy is beautiful. Read. The chiefest among ten thousand. <clears throat> Read on. His head is as the most fine gold. Read. His locks. His what? His locks. What nation of peoples only have locks? Those are braids, not not that that that, that cornrow stuff. People twisting their hair. That is not what that is talking about. Read. Or bushy. Bushy. You know, bushy is thick and woolly hair. That what bushy mean? Woolly. Read. And black. And what? And black. See. Read on. As a raven. <coughs> Can't get past that. They'll never pull this out. That's why when you look up King Solomon, it's gonna give you some pale skin Edomite. The devil that the Bible speaks of. Now let's let's get let's go with let's dive into King Solomon. Let's go to First Kings one and one. Get to history now. First Kings one and one. The book of First Kings, chapter one, verse one. Now now King David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. Because he was old in age. <clears throat> Let's go to, <clears throat> let me clear this up. Let's go to Ecclesiastics 4 and 11. <clears throat> because, uh, 4 and 11. Ecclesiastics 4 and 11. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 11. Again, if two lie together... Hold up, just jump up to verse 9. Let me clear some myth out of here. I'll be trying to clear some of these myths that people try to bring at you. We're going to start at Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 9. <clears throat> two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. Read on. 
For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. So you can't do that by being solo. Well, I ain't going to deal with a body or a camp, see. It, it most high left uh, strict information about how we should be doing things. We should be following these orders. That's how it, make it, 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 it makes it easy on us. Read. But woe to him that is alone. See, what did it say? But woe to him that is alone. See, you got those uh, Facebook Israelites, those YouTube Israelites, always commenting and running their mouth. Read on. When he had fallen, for he had not another to help him up. So when you give them some correction, they ready to argue with you. I don't even deal with them no more. <clears throat> Read. Again, if two lie together. See, now. They'll try to say this is talking about two men because they read it up there. This is talking about a man and a woman. Read. Then they have heat. What they have? Heat. Read on. But how can one be warm alone? Because you got a lot of Israelites that's on their own. Let's go back to 1 Kings 1 and 1. Let's read that again. The book of 1 Kings chapter 1 verse 1. Now King David was old and stricken in years. And they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. So we understand if you read it down in context, they went and got him a young virgin to lay with him. Let's jump down to verse 11. Verse 11. War 4. Nathan spake unto Bathsheba. This is King Solomon's mother right here. Bathsheba, read. The mother of Solomon, saying, How hast thou not heard that <coughs> Onadonja, oh, 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 the son of Hagit, Duck rain. So this dude here, he don't put himself as king. This is King David's son. He's ruling now, read. And David, our Lord, knoweth it not. See, and King David did not know what he had did, read. Now therefore, come, let me, I pray thee, give thee counsel. This is Nathan giving uh, Bathsheba uh, counsel, read. That thou mayest save thine own life. Because normally you got to put, you know got killed to something, especially if you're going up against the, you know that that king is not supposed to be there and he know who's supposed to be the rightful ruler. Read. And the life of thy son Solomon. Verse 13. Go and get thee in unto, the, un, in unto King David and say unto him, Didst not thou, my lord, O king, swear unto thine handmaid, saying, Assuredly, Solomon, Thy son shall rule, shall reign after me. See, when she said it, surely that was a guarantee. Solomon, thy son, shall rule after him. Read on. And he shall sit upon my throne. Why then does Adon Adonijah reign? Why does he rule right now? Read on. Behold, while thou yet talkest there with the king, I also would come in after thee. This is the prophet Nathan. Read on. And confirm thy words. And Bathsheba went in unto the king, into the chamber. And the king was very old. And Abiashad Ab and Shunamanite ministered unto the king. And Bathsheba bowed and did obedience unto the king. And the king said, What wouldest thou? The king asked, What's going on? Read on. And she said unto him, My lord. Thou swearest by the Lord thy God unto thy handmaid, saying, Assuredly, Solomon, thy son shall reign after me. Read on. And he, and he shall sit upon my throne. And now, behold, Adonijah reigneth. And now. See, he, he don't put himself as king. Read. My Lord the king, thou knowest it not. And he has slain oxen and fat cattle, and of the king, and of Abiathar the priest, and Joab, the, the uh, captain of the host. But Solomon, thy servant, had he not called. See, he hadn't called Solomon. Why? Because he knew that it was supposed to be passed down to Solomon. Read that verse again. Verse 17. Verse 17. No, verse 19. Verse 19. And he had slain oxen and fat cattle and sheep in abundance. And had called all the sons of the king. And Abedathah, the priest, and Joab, the captain of the host. But Solomon, thy servant, had he not called. Read on. And thou, my lord, O king, the eyes of all Israel are upon thee, that thou shouldest tell them who shall, sat, who shall sit on the throne of my lord, the king, after him. 
otherwise it shall come to pass, when my lord the king shall sleep with his fathers, that I and my son Solomon shall be counted offenders. See, offenders, they were going to be counted enemies of the state. They was going to be counted as an enemy. Read on. And lo, while she yet talked with the king, Nathan the prophet also came in. And they told the king, saying, Behold, Nathan the prophet. And when he was come in before the king, he bowed himself before the king with his face to the ground. Because some of us, <clears throat> when it comes down to your hour shot, we start getting it together now. Because this is how we ran things back then. That's how things were set up. Read. And Nathan said, My lord, O king, as thou said, O Donajah shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne. For he has gone down this day, and hath slain oxen, and fat cattle, and sheep in abundance, and hath called all the king's sons, and the captains of the host, and Abiathar the priest, and behold, they eat and drink before him, and say, God save King Adonijah. But me, even me thy servant, and Zodak the priest, and Benaniah the son of Jehoiada, and thy servant Solomon, had he not called. You know why he didn't call them. He understood what was supposed to take place. But, you know, this is how we are in Israel. Everybody's setting up the time to take rulership. The Most High ordained things. Let it go with the Most High say how it should go. Read on. Is this thing done by my lord the king? And thou hast not showed it unto thy servant? Who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him? Then King David answered and said, Call me Bathsheba. And, he, and she came into the king's presence and stood before the king. And the king sware and said, As the Lord liveth, that have redeemed my soul out of all distress. Even as I swear unto thee by the Lord God of Israel, saying, Assuredly Solomon thy son shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne in my stead. Even so will I certainly do this day. Then Bathsheba bowed her face to the earth and did reverence to the king. She appreciated, you know, showing her appreciation. You know, these things we haven't gotten yet, man. It's a lot more learning than it's truth. Read. And said, let my lord King David live forever. See, she understood, man. Our folks understood back then. Right now... <clears throat> Esau has taught us all to be chiefs. That's why we run around here banging and fighting each other. That's why there's no one is getting along, man. Everybody is trying to take a step over each other. You got a car, a Cadillac. I got to go get me a, 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 a better Cadillac. You got the 250 series. I got to go get the 400 series. We always trying to one up each other. Let's go to 1 Kings 2 and 1. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 2, verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. It drew near that he should pass on, read. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Read that verse 2 again. Verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore. Be thou strong, man, mentally. Not talking physically. Read. And show thyself a man. And show thyself a man. Mm. We haven't been shown this here. That's why you see so many young men out here killing each other today. Read on. Verse 3. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes. Those statutes are those laws. Read. And his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Because if you're not doing this, you're not going to prosper. I can guarantee you that. Throughout the whole Bible, it's going to speak on these things right here. Thy statutes, thy commandments, and thy judgments. You got to be doing this. I don't care who you is. If you're not doing this, if you, like Christ say, one jot or one tack, one tittle, one tittle, mm -hmm. 
So you can't just be doing 612 and you'll just omit one. Read verse 4. Verse 4. That the Lord may continue his word which he spake concerning me, saying, if thy children take heed to their way. If thy children take, the Bible never speaks of an adult. If thy children take heed to their ways, read. To walk before me in truth. In truth. You know what the truth is, the law, read. With all their heart. With all their mind, read. And with all their soul. Their soul is your spirit, read. There shall not, <clears throat> there shall not fail thee, said he, a man on the throne of Israel. See, jump down to verse uh, 11. Matter of fact, 10. Verse 10. So David slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. And the days that David reigned over Israel were 40 years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron and 30 and three years reigned he in Jerusalem. Read on. Then set Solomon upon the throne of David, his father. And his kingdom was established greatly. See? Because King, King Solomon was the greatest king. Let's go to... We're just getting some information on this. Y'all go back and read this in your own context. Uh, 1 Kings 3 and 5. <clears throat> the book of 1 Kings, chapter 3, verse 5. We're going to read it down to 15. In Gibeon... The Lord appeared to Solomon. See, the Lord appeared to Solomon. Read on. In a dream by night. This is how he contacted. This is how things are done. Read on. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according, according as he walked before thee in truth. In truth, like I say. This whole thing is about truth, man. Read on. And in righteousness. And in righteousness. Read. And in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept him, and thou hast kept for him this great kindness, that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne, as it is this day. Read on. And now, O Lord, my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child. He was a little child. Read on. I know not how to go out or come in. Let me show you something. Go to Luke 2 and, and, and uh, 42. Luke 2 and 42. Matter of fact, start up at uh, verse 41. The book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 41. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. Read. And when he was 12 years old. Because Christ turned 12 years old. Christ was born around the Passover. So when is the Passover? Between March and April. So this, 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 this Bible doesn't have anything to do with Christianity. Christianity is a man-made doctrine that they're pushing in. And, and, and they know it, man. Read that verse 42 again. Verse 42. And when he was 12 years old. When he had turned 12 years old, read. They went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. See, because Christ was keeping that as a young child. He was keeping the Passover. Now, how old was he? 12 years old. See, he was 12 years old. How many years did King Solomon rule? Uh, I already told y'all this. Rule over Israel. Forty-four. How long? Forty. Forty years. So, let's go back. I'm gonna show y'all something today. Read verse seven again in First uh, Kings three and seven. The book of First Kings, chapter three, verse seven. And now, O Lord my God, Thou hast made Thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child. He was a little child, twelve years old. Read. I know not how to go. <clears throat> I know not how to go out or come in. See, he had he didn't know how to go out or come in. He didn't have the understanding. But read on. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people. This is Israel. Read. That cannot be numbered, nor counted for multitude. Read on. 
Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart. The understanding to, mind, read. To judge thy people. Read on. That I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast asked not, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither has asked riches for thyself. You know, that's what Christians pray about. That's say the whole doctrine. <laughs> Sending that tithe, man, and God's going to bless you 10, 20 fold. <laughs> uh, these things, that's why I tell y'all, y'all have to know how to pray. Read on. Nor, act, nor has asked the life of thine enemies, but has asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee. Neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have, and I, and I have also given thee that which thou hast not, which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor. So he's given that to him anyway. Read. So that thou shalt not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt will walk in my way. See, there we go with this again. Read. To keep my statutes. It's just this whole thing, man. This is what, that's why I say the so-called white man train our peoples up to be chief. So they big in the city when they ain't nobody. They living check to check too. Don't think that they not. I don't care how much money you make. See, it's just an illusion, man. It's a game. This is what we have to do. Read verse 14 again. Verse 14. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father David did walk, then will I lengthen thy days. Read on. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And it came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast to all his servants. Because when you go up to verse 5 in Gideon, that's north of Jerusalem. Uh, let's go to Proverbs 30 and 5. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Every word of God is pure. Every word coming out this Bible is pure, man. See? Because you notice when we out there on that street teaching and we trying to warn somebody, they don't want to hear what's in this Bible. They want to go with the tradition of man. They like being lied to. If you tell them a lie, they'll love you then. But if you tell them the truth, they start to hate you. Read. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. See, because he's a shield unto them that put their trust in him. You're not putting, how you think the word going to come out? You're going to go home. I see plenty of people. Well, I just read it at home. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get the understanding. It just say about that one person alone. You should never be alone in this truth. Read. Add thou not unto his words. Do what? Read that again. Add thou not unto his words. You shouldn't add unto these words. Read. Lest he reprove thee. Read on. And thou be found a liar. See? Read. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Read on. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. See, King Solomon wrote Proverbs. A lot of our people, they go and pray for things they don't, that they can't even handle. As long as you're getting your daily food, that should be good enough. Ain't that what the animals receive? Y'all don't see the ants starving or uh, having a... Uh, you don't see these things. Everything is put here to make sure we get these things. 
he would give us the, the riches if we apply the basics, these laws, statutes, and commandments, the milk. Read. Lest I be fool and deny thee. See, a lot of people, that's what a, a lot of people are. They fool, but they are fool. And they gonna and they deny the most high. Read. And say, Who is the Lord? That's what they saying. Who is the Lord? Read. Or lest I be poor and steal. Read on. And take the name of my God in vain. A lot of people do these things. Now this is what this is the trick that Christianity have established. Because they take the most high name in vain. They'll tell you these laws are done away with. Every time, man. I remember one dude out there, two, two commandments. I'm like, bro, two commandments? It's madness, man. Madness. Let's go back to 1 Kings 4 and 29. Madness, man. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 4, verse 29. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceedingly much. See, because that wisdom and understanding, man, is, is, is what you want. It's powerful than anything. Can nobody come up to you? Read on. And largeness of heart. And, and it's mine, too. Read. Even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East Country. And all the wisdom of Egypt. All the wisdom of Egypt, man. We 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 the number one tribe on this planet, man. That's right. We we above all people, but when you've been taught to be equal, that means you're a slave. That means you're on the bottom. That means people that don't care about their nation. Read. For he was wiser than all men. Read on. Than Ethan the Azarite and Heman. And Chakal and Darde, the sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all nations round about. See, these was famous men for having knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Solomon was wiser than them all, man. Read on. And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. See, read on. And he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop. That spring it out of the wall. He spake also of beasts and of fowl and of creeping things and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all kings of the earth which had heard of his wisdom. That's where it's going to be in the kingdom. Once we get the kingdom back, that's how it's going to be again. Because the world is upside down now. Let's go to wisdom of Solomon 7 and 15. Let's get some understanding on this. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 15. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 15. The book of Wisdom of Solomon. In the Apocrypha, chapter 7, verse 15. God had granted me to speak as I would and to con and to conceive as is meant for the things that are given me. This is King Solomon, read. Because it is he that leadeth unto wisdom. It's the most high that leadeth unto wisdom. Read. And directed and directed the wise. And he directs the wise. See, we don't understand these things. We've been the he's setting up prophets here and they're directing the peoples. That's how people get spiritually fed, man. You're not gonna find this on your YouTube. A lot of times you be everywhere. Read on. For in his hands are both we and our words, all wisdom also, and knowledge of workmanship. Because a lot of people ain't putting in no work. Read on. For he had given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made. How the what? How the world was made. Read. And the operation of the elements. The elements. Lightning. Fire. Wind. Read on. The beginning. The beginning. Ending. And the ending. Read. And the midst of the time. The middle ages. Read. 
and the alterations of the turning of the sun. The alteration of what? Of the turning of the sun. You mean the the, the, the earth is not moving? Of the turning of the sun. <laughs> Read on. And the change of seasons. Under, he understood the change of seasons. Let's go back to 1 Kings. Let's find out some of these things. 1 Kings 8 and 46. Lay your book open right there. 1 Kings 8 and 46. Let's see if Solomon knew some of the things we'll be going to exactly today. Read that. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee. Hold up. If Israel sin against thee, read. If Israel sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Because we come out of this, 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 this dirt over here in America, read. And thou be angry with them. And your and your house shall be angry with them. Read. And deliver them unto the enemy. Where we at right now? See, King Solomon knew these things, man. Read. So that they carried them away captive. So they carried carried us away captive on these ships. Read. Into the land of the enemy. Into the where? Into the land of the enemy. Into the land of the enemy. Read. Far or near. Matter of fact. Judah, give me uh, numbers 35 and 33. Let me see if that's what I want. Yeah, numbers 35, 33. Because where we at? We're in the land of our enemies, right? A lot of y'all, a lot of people, nah, we ain't in the land of our enemies, man. Read that verse, uh, numbers 35, 33. The book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. You can't cleanse this land. You can't, you can't make America great again. <laughs> Read. But by the blood of him that shed it. But by who? The blood of him that shed it's it. It's got to be by the blood of him that shed it. It's no making America great again. Let's go back. Read verse 46 again. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 46. If they sin against thee. See, we all have sinned. Read. For there is no man that sin it not. Because you ain't got no man that hollering he perfect around here. We living perfect now because we awake. Read. And thou be angry with them. And, and the most high in your house shall be angry with us. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. They delivered us to the enemy. It was prophesied. Yahweh shall was warning them in Rome at the time. Read. So that they carried them away captive. You know we came over on ships. Read. Unto the land of the enemy. Far or near. Read on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. If they remember. Read. In the land whether they were carried captives. And repent. And what? And repent. And what? And repent. How do we, This is only fit us. This ain't for everybody, man. That's the hard part people got out. A lot of our people got. I had a dude email me last night. I get a lot of messages. I'm just not dealing with brothers and sisters in here. I'm dealing with brothers and sisters around the world. Now, he was with this Edomite. After he found out the truth, he separated from her. He calling me, asking me questions. I'm giving him the information. I get these every day, all day now. People are watching what's going on, man. Everybody's seeking this truth. Read verse 47 again. Verse 47. And yet. If they shall bethink themselves. If they remember. Read. In the land whether they were carried captives. Because we, we was brung over here on, on slave ship. This is Solomon speaking back then. Read. And repent. And what? And repent. So this is Solomon. Between 971 and 931 B.C. before Christ. Read. And make supplication. Unto thee and the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have seen. We have what? We have seen. Read. And done and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. Read on. And so return unto thee with all their heart. All thy mind, man, because that's what I tell you. It's a thinking man game. <laughs> you got to be thinking because this, this man has polluted our minds. Read. 
and with all their soul. With all our spirit, read. In the land of their enemies, read. which led them away captives, and pray unto thee toward their lands. That's why when we pray, we pray with our palms up to the east, to our land. Read. Which thou gavest unto their father. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, read. The city which thou hast chosen. And the house which I have built for thy name. See, we're going home soon. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 10 and 5. In the Old Testament, not in the Apocrypha. Because King Solomon knew these things. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes uh, 10 and 5. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. This is the so-called red man. The most high call him evil man. Read. As an error which proceeded from the ruler. See, they're an error, man. You should never follow nothing that they say. You got what coming up? What's uh, the day? Uh, you know, Negro going to be out celebrating Juneteenth. They still a slave, but they going to think they free. <clears throat> How's you celebrating something? Two years later than when the other slave was set free. You mean nobody passed through Texas? No slave came from uh, Louisiana, uh, Oklahoma, man. Say, man, what y'all did still doing, man? Y'all slaves? Nobody came through here and told them they was free? And we thinking we're dealing with civilized people. These peoples are an error. Read on verse 6. Verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity. See, foolishness. This is America. Folly. Read. And the rich sit in low places. Who is the rich? Sit in low places. It's talking about the Israelites. Read on. I have seen servants upon horses. What did the Most High say? I have seen servants upon horses. Because in slavery, we used to couldn't ride a horse. I know y'all seen that in that Django movie. When Samuel Jackson come out. What that Nad doing up on that, on that, on that horse? Read that again. I have seen servants upon horses. This is our enemy. Now they riding the horses. Because it's a statue in, in Washington, ain't it? Go ahead and tell them about it. Uh, yeah, that statue, they got Theodore Roosevelt sitting on the horse. Then they got Gad, who got the gun pointed up. No, he got the, uh, what is that? Pointed down. Pointed down, saying that he not going to fight for the white man. But then he got Judah on the other side with the gun up, saying he willing to fight for the white man. That's when they destroyed us and had our brothers, the Buffalo soldiers, going against Gad. Now. Right. They create these monuments for a reason, y'all. Man, they're not just putting that out there for nothing. So when y'all walking by and y'all see anything, they got meanings to them. That's why y'all always got Edomite monuments all over the place. Read verse 7 again. Verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. That just clarified that, that what that's going on. Princes walking as servants upon the earth. See, the Bible let you know this book is, see, they try to make this a fable, it's not true, uh, that's the white man book, this book condemns him. If the, if these, de if these devils really knew all these fake pastors, these old Edomite pastors, these sellout brothers, if they really knew what was in this book, they would sit down somewhere, man. That's why we have to go out there and bang with them. Let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon uh, 7 and 19. See, because King Solomon knew all these things, man. He seen them. The Most High gave him that understanding. Read. The book of Wisdom of Solomon in the Hypocrypha. Chapter 7, verse 19. The circuits of years and the positions of stars. You notice the stars always in the same position. <laughs> Matter of fact, don't y'all see the clouds moving over? I'm going to show y'all something in another class, man. I ain't going to bring it up. It's just too much to go into. Read that. The natures of living creatures. Read. And the furies of wild beasts. See, we we know the furies of wild beasts. How many people went to the circus and you seen a black woman and a black man in there with the lines? <laughs> and they're telling them, whipping them with a whip, making them do all kind of tricks. Our spirit just don't go with certain things, man. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. 
<laughs> now you spawn a, 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 full, a few steps in fetching that. How many in here want to jump out of an airplane? <laughs> we, we don't do these things, man. We don't tempt God like that. <laughs> Read that again. The nature and the furies of wild beasts. The violence of wind. These are storms. You, that's why you see Esau. He got all kind of people. Storm trackers. He, he trying to be like King Solomon. Read on. And the reasonings of men. The diversities of plants. And the virtues of roots. Because these virtues of plants and roots. what It's got something to deal with us. Healing medicine. The slaves never had really doctors. They knew with certain plants to go. And, 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 and eat. And it gave them, because some of them had a fever, certain plants would break that fever. See, so called white man, he don't want us to know. Because guess what? He's making us sick with his food. Then he's playing like he's the doctor that's healing us. It's a game, man. <sighs> Read on, man. And all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know for wisdom which is the work of all things taught me. For in her is an understanding spirit. See, once you get into this truth for a while, you'll start understanding spirits. Spirits always going to show you the hand. You have to be uh, grounded in this truth, man. You can't just be playing tiptoe tap dancing with it. You have to be grounded in her. Read. Holy. Holy. Read. One only. One only. Read. Manifold. Subtle. Lively. Clear. Undefiled. Plain. Not subject to hurt. Loving the thing that is good. Quick. Which cannot be lettered. Ready to do good. Kind to man. See, a lot of us don't understand that one. Read. Steadfast. Sure. Free from care. Having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirits. It's, it's always everything in this Bible reversed by because there's just a spirit in there. And I'm going to show you that today too. Read on. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Read that again. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Read on. She passes and goeth through all things. By reason of her prudence. That's wisdom. Read. For she is the breath of the power of God. Wisdom is the breath of the power of God. Because he breathed wisdom into you. Read on. And a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. No defiled thing can fall into wisdom. Let's go to Ecclesiastics. Uh, 12 and 1. Twelve and one. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 1. Let's see what else King Solomon was also given to get this information. Because now you're getting it. Read. Remember now thy creator. Thy creator, the most high Yahweh shall read. In the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. No pleasure in them. These are talking about Israelites back then. When we was awakened, we turned from the Most High. It's a lot of people that Yahweh shot was dealing with right now back here today. <coughs> He's going to have to deal with them here. That's why they was brought back. That's why I tell y'all, notice a lot of women are pregnant. Is, I see more women pregnant than I ever seen. Read on. Verse 2. While the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Read on. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Who is this keeper of the house right now? It's not us, is it? Keeper of the house right now is Esau. <laughs> Read. And the strong men shall bow themselves. This is talking about slavery, ain't it? Because we're naturally stronger than them. This is talking about the Israelite men. Read. And the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be dark. See, because it's saying the grinder, the worker. 
cease because they are few. Read verse 4. Verse 4. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Ain't, the, ain't they, they, they telling us unemployment rate is at 4 point something. But the unemployment rate is out the sky, especially for a black man. It's like probably over 50 or 60 percent. Read that again. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. Read on. When the sound of the grinding is low. Man, you're going to start to see uprising. You're seeing it happening across seas right now. Read. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Read on. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All this stuff is going to be brought low here in America. Read. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high. The most high read. And fear shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall flourish. And the grasshopper shall be a burden. And desire shall fail. Because man goeth to his long home. You know where your long home is? Death. <laughs> read. And the mourners go about the street. You're seeing it more and more and more now. A lot of us don't even understand these things, man. You're starting to see this stuff more and more and more. Read on. Or ever the silver cord be loose. Now we're talking about America, read. Or the golden board bowl be broken. Because this kingdom is, is, is done for, man. Read on. Or the pitcher be broken at the fountain. Or the wheel broken at the cistern. Read on. Then the dust shall return to the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. See, it's a separation. Body go right back down to being dirt. Read on. Vanities of vanities. Lies of lies. Pride, arrogance. Read. Say it the preacher. The preacher is right here. It's King Solomon. Read. All is vanity. All this what's going on now is vanities here around here. Read. And moreover, because the preacher was wise. Because King Solomon was wise. Read. He still taught the people knowledge. See, that's what we're doing. We still teach the people's knowledge. Read. Yea, he gave good heed and, and sought out and set in order many proverbs. What did he set in order? Many proverbs. We said, this is what we're doing now. Read on. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words. Read. And that which was written was upright. What was what? And, what, and which was written was upright. Read. Even words of truth. The truth. These laws. Read on. The words of the wise are as gods. As what? As golds. See? Provoke. Inspire. To move. We. Read. And as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies. Which are given from one shepherd. That one shepherd is your shot. Read on. And further. By these my son. Be admonished. Of making many books. See, because a lot of our people, they got the book of Enoch. They got this book. They got that book. Sometimes all you need is the Bible to read. The King James 1611. Yes, because we know Esau, he have tampered with everything, man. Even the Bible. We just found a mistranslation in here earlier. Read that verse 12 again. Verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished. Of be warned. That's what that admonish is. Be warned, read. Of making many books, there is no end. Read. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. It's a waste of time. Read on. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is King Solomon. Way back then, he said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Read. Fear God. What? Fear God. Read. And keep his commandments. This is what he was writing. He had written for us to when we come back into our knowledge. Read that again. Fear God. Read. And keep his commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. Read on. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Every works. Everything that you're doing is being recorded. Matter of fact, Judah, give me Hebrews 10 and 26. Book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully. See, now we understand we're in this truth. And we're just going out. We continue to sin. Read. 
After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. After we have what? Received the knowledge of the truth. Read on. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. See, there is no more sacrifice for sin. Time to get right, Israel. Can't play no games, man. And we're going to find on out there. Let's go back. Uh, read verse 14. Verse 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Every work into judgment, read. With every secret thing. Oh, they don't know what we doing. We gonna, I'm going to do it anyway. Read on. Whether it be good. Whether it be what? Whether it be good. Read. Or whether it be evil. Now let's go to Proverbs 15 and 3. I brung this out a little early. See, they don't understand, man. I tell y'all, this is not a game. Don't play with fire. You know what happened when you play with fire. Or you know how you was little, you want to stick something in the socket. You got what you had coming to you. <laughs> you got away from that socket after they hit you. After they lit you up, you ain't you have to work. Cause you tell a child, don't touch the stove. What they do, they want to go in there, oh, all you, you hear is hollering. You got to worry about telling them again. They might not even come in the kitchen. <laughs> Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. So don't think that these angels ain't recording things. I showed the brothers in the scriptures. See, it's a first, second, and third, and fourth dimension right here on the planet. There's angels everywhere right now. I'm going to bring that out in the class to y'all. I'm going to show y'all all these things. Read. Behold it, the evil. Because right now, a lot of our folks are somewhere evil doing evil. This is God High Holy Day, and they don't care. Mm -hmm. They they chase the dollar. They out spending. Why you think you get paid on Friday? <laughs> Why do you think you get your paycheck on Friday so you can go see him Friday night? Cause you know I ain't lying. We been the club. I been the club with my sister. She was wicked too with me. <laughs> we was up there turning. We didn't know. <laughs> We at the club thinking we having fun. No, we would be wicked as hell. That's why you get your check on Friday, so you can go out on Friday nights. And Saturday, you can go shopping for the children. See, Esau set these things up. Read. And the good. And the good. Because what good you doing now? You in here. You getting fed. All right, somebody charged to get that off of $20 right quick, you know. <laughs> Tell y'all about them phones, man. <laughs> uh, let me expound on what we talking about, what Cap talking about. We gonna be judged by the work and what we doing, uh, either it's good or evil. Now I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna go into this. Well, give me a uh, Second Peter chapter two, and we gonna go. We'll start at verse twenty one because I'm gonna share this with y'all. You know, camps popping up everywhere. This truth is getting out. We we teaching now, and people coming up on us. We, bro, what's your name? Oh, yeah, man, I'm a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. They know all these things. So we're going to go into this fold of what's going on because cause you know, because the thing about it, we, we are commanded to go teach and, and, and wake our people up, pretty much go out to the uh, lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, this is what you're going to understand. Break, read this something out. The book of Second Peter, chapter 2 and verse 21. Uh-huh. For it had been better. It says, for it had been better. Read. For them not to have known. For you have not to know, like Calvin just bring it out. When he was at the club and doing what he was doing or whatever, but in that past life, he didn't know no better. He didn't know about the Sabbath. He didn't understand and didn't know. Read. For them not to have known the way of righteousness. The way of righteousness, pretty much keeping the law, statutes, and commandments that will make you righteous. Read. Then, after they have known it. So, after you know this truth, and see, there's a difference in being a lost sheep and a rebellious sheep. And we know in Isaiah, what's that, 31, say, woe to the rebellious children. See, right now, when you go from being lost to being rebellious, woe means destruction to you. Right. So that's the understanding that we got to be able to understand. Finish it out. To turn from the holy commandment delivered. We, you did what? Turn from. See, that's that rebellious. And the scripture, I always tell them, every time you see rebellious, woe is somewhere by that word. Destruction. So that's the thing about it. We trying to tell our people. It's a lot of people now, they not lost no more. Right. They rebellious. Finish that. 
to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. That was given to them. Our people rejected this truth now. It's not that they don't know it no more. They don't want to change. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I had on that. Uh, that's all. Go, go and read verse 22, no, no, man. Don't no, give me that deal. Go ahead. You can't leave I, that out, man. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Give me that. Bone, man. <laughs> uh -huh. It has happened unto them. So the scripture tell us, but you know what? It has happened. You see it right now. You look at our neighborhoods. You look at our communities. Just look at what's going on. Read. According to the true proverb, uh -huh. the dog. The what? The dog. Read. Is turned to his own vomit again. Now, you, when you, now that's just disgusting. That's an abomination to the Most High God. Knowing that he gave us, he lost at your commandments. We, we have, to, like I said, we got all the testimonies of the old prophecy. And we still doing the same thing. We still eating pork. We still celebrate the pig and custom. Turn back to our slop. Finish that. And the soap that uh -huh. was washed to her swallowing uh -huh. in the mire. Same thing. There's nothing new upon the sun. So the thing is, you're in this truth. It's best to do. And it's taking your spirits. I know a lot of times people coming out there where uh, you have to understand it. Everybody ain't in here. Mine ain't just perfect. You know, things might get said, you know, you have to understand, we all were sick. <laughs> you know, because we was raised up in a, on a sick farm. And, you know, we got fed sick food, sick medicine. So it kept us sick in the mind. Now we're trying to heal folks. Uh, we're going out to the garden tomorrow. You know, we need everybody out there, even you women, if y'all want to come get dirty. Okay, I don't know about that. Yeah, you're going to be in the future. You're going to be out in that garden. <laughs> but, you know, stuff is starting to come up. The corn and mellows and the beans and stuff. So, this whole society is just like a farm. You want to have a good farm. You know, Esau have created a wicked farm. Let's go back to 1 Kings 10 and 1. Officer was bringing out a good point. A lot of Israel, they returned back to the vomit, to the ways of this world, the mess that they was in. First Kings 10 and 1. The book of First Kings, chapter 10, verse 1. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. See, and this is where they had a... The Ethiopians come into this thing, man. Judah, give me uh, Zephaniah 2 and 12. <laughs> See, these Ethiopians, man, they all this roster stuff, and we don't deal with that Ethiopian garbage. Most high is not dealing with Ethiopians. See, they ain't gonna, they'll read this and say, uh, Queen Sheba and King Solomon had sex, and she had a son. Now, how did they know? What scripture is that? It's no, I'm going to show you in another precept that it, it didn't have nothing to do with that. Let's see how the most high think about the Ethiopians. Read that, Judah. The book of the prophets of Naya, chapter 2 and verse 12. Ye Ethiopians also. And now, he called them by their name. <laughs> Why he call them Judah? Read on. Ye shall be slain by my sword. What's going to happen to them Ethiopians? Ye shall be slain by my sword. He's going to put them to death, too, because they had a a part in our putting us in this slavery in this condition. And that's why they look down on y'all. Y'all thinking they y'all friend. Let's go back. Uh first Kings, drop down to verse thirteen. The book of First Kings, chapter ten, verse thirteen. And King Solomon gave unto the Queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked. Whatever she asked, read, see cause whatever she asked. Read on. Beside that which Solomon gave her of his royal bounty. Read on. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. There's nowhere in, in, in 1 Kings 10 that's going to say Queen Sheba and King Solomon had relationships. It was state that. We have to believe what the, what, the, what the prophets wrote. We can't just go believe what someone's saying. So if you got an Ethiopian girlfriend, you better separate because we're going to show you these things. Let's go to 1 Kings 1, 11 and 1. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 11, verse 1. But King Solomon 
loved many strange women. See, the most high outside your nation, there are strange women. So if anybody got Becky at home and not telling us, you better go put out. <laughs> anybody got Bob at the house telling y'all the truth? Read. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites. Most high do not like the Moabites. These are the who? Uh, uh, Jeroboam. Uh, Japanese. Right. Chinese. Chinese. Japanese. Mm -hmm. They all got the same Chinese eyes, don't they? <laughs> yeah. That's why you're confused. <laughs> but they don't call them one nation, do they? Mm -hmm. Why we got to be African? <laughs> How many brothers you see walking through the hood with a lip in they, with a plate in their lip? <laughs> with a bone through their nose? <laughs> see, we don't think about these things, do we? How many of them out on the farm drinking cow piss? <laughs> or letting it run over their head and taking a shower with it? Mm. Or drinking cow blood. <laughs> Read out, man. Ammonites. Edomites. The who? Edomites. The King Solomon was dealing with the other nations too. Zidonians. The who? Zidonians. Read on. And Hittites. Read on. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go in unto them. What did he say? Ye shall not go in unto them. You shouldn't make marriage with them. You shouldn't even be having sex with these other nations. Because we the pure seed. That's why you see, I seen this one brother out there. He had an Edomite father. He couldn't understand. This ain't for you. Because you are what your father is. Christ had what? Before him, 42 generations. Father, Father, Father. When you go into Matthew's 1, you're going to read about those Father, 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 Father. You ain't going to hear nothing about no woman in there. Read on. Neither shall they come in unto you, for, for surely they would turn away your heart after their gods. Because that's why you see a lot of these athletes and sisters and brothers up in them Edomite churches. They got That's why they up in there. They got Bob up in there preaching. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. He up in there just running his mouth, man. Probably got a clean shaved head. One of them penitentiary prison suits on. Read. Solomon clave unto these in love. And he has 700 wives. Man, 700 wives? It's only 360 days in a year. <laughs> Three hugs. Princesses. And 300 concubines. Man, Solomon had a thousand women. And his wives turned away his heart. Turned away his mind, read. For it came to pass, when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. Read on. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Asterisk, the goddess of the Zidonians. And after Milcom, the abomination of the Amorites. Here what the Most High call them. So, you got camps that's still pushing this. You got camps that's still saying, well, you were married to her before you came in the truth, you can continue being married to her. That's a lie. You shouldn't be dealing with no Edomites, man. Or Ammonites. Moabites. You shouldn't be dealing with these other nations. I'm going to show you why through the scriptures. Read on. Verse 6. And Solomon did evil. What did he do? Solomon did evil. Not King Solomon would see, me tell you something. That's why it's best to take the milk and keep learning. Don't come in here with all this other stuff because it'll bug you out eventually. I seen a dude, I mean, I showed y'all a picture, he was in the cab once. And strong in the scriptures. Shade his head and his beard off. Look like a giant milk dog. <laughs> That's how Shaq looks. Booty face. <laughs> Read that verse 6 again. Verse 6. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after the Lord, 
as did David his father. Then did Solomon build an high place for Shemosh, the, <clears throat> the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Moloch, the abomination of the children of Ammon. See, this is what happened when we start trying to bring these other nations in, man. We cannot do this, man. We have to deal with our own people. That's where the Most High had it set up. But who who changed these things? Why you think you're seeing more and more of this on the on the internet, on the television shows? They're showing who is uh Sierra, Sierra messing with? Is that her name? Williams? Yeah. Uh, with, uh, Some Serena. Edomite. Yeah, Serena. Serena. Serena, Serena Williams. Serena, yeah. I don't follow them, man, because I know that they're, they're an abomination to the Most High. They don't do nothing for their people. It's it's a couple more of them out there that high price. They call themselves. They just they ain't got no money, man. It's just that's just the Illuminati to fool you to thinking that they living like that. Uh, it's another one out there that they've been showing off like that. And a lot of their television shows. That sister Carrie Washington. She always would have eat a mite, ain't she? Huh? See? They pushing this, man. They understand what they doing. We just don't. They show you how all the things evil about the black woman, but then they'll try to make the white woman look like... She, I, matter of fact, that dude that did the bombing or whatever he did overseas, they had on the white picture with the little white girl, pure. And they had on the other picture with the air of evil. See? Psychological warfare going on, man, with us. Read on, man. <laughs> Verse 8. And likewise did he for all his strange wives, which burnt incense and sacrificed unto their gods. And the Lord was angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned from the Lord God of Israel. Which had appeared unto him twice. Uh, it appeared unto him twice. First Kings three and five, First Kings nine and two. Read on. And had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods, but he kept not that which the Lord commanded. See, Solomon didn't do right. Read on. Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done unto thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee. He's going to take the kingdom from him, read. And will give it to thy servant. See, let's go to Ecclesiastes 1 and 16. See, with this with this knowledge, it puffs up. With this understanding, it, it, it can throw you. Because some people take it and, 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 and like, act like they above their own nation. You should be like that, man. You should. Everybody should be able to approach you, talk to you, laugh with you. When you become too big for your own people, man, that's an issue. First, Ecclesiastics one and uh, sixteen. The book of uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one, verse sixteen. I commune with my own heart, saying, "Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom." than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. Read on. And I gave my heart to know not to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. See what King Solomon did? He went off. All you need is the Bible. You don't need nothing else, man. I hear people that always ask me about other books. Ah, like I tell people, don't send me no 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 videos. You and you don't like I tell a lot of times, you don't know what spirit that person in because you see them on video. They're just seeing a, a video. You don't know that person personally. Read verse seventeen again. And I gave my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. Read on. I perceive that this is also. I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. This is vexation of your spirit, man. Nehemiah 13 and 23. 
You got a lot of people out here pushing a lot of different doctors. So if somebody coming up to you with that book of Enoch, it doesn't match up. They coming up to you with the book of Josephus, it doesn't match up. Read. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 23. This is the prophet Nehemiah. Read on. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language. They couldn't speak their own language, Hebrew, read. But according to the language of each people. Of each of those other nations, read. And I contended with them. What did he do? And I contended with them. Well, y'all understand, some people got these prophets that like that. Some of these Israelite schools make these prophets weak. These prophets wasn't no joke, man. Read on. And cursed them. And what? And cursed them. Read. And smote certain of them. He had to kill certain of them. <laughs> yeah. This, this, is, this is what gets me, man. When people thinking you coming too hard, especially out there on that street corner. They better understand. Read that verse 25 again. And I contended with them. Man, he contended with them with the scriptures. Read. And cursed them. Read on. And smote certain of them. And plucked off their hair. He pulling out some of their hair. Read on. And made them swear by God. And made them what? Swear by God. Read. Saying, ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons for yourselves. Read on. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? See, they understood these things. But you got Cam still pushing this, man. Read on. Yet among many nations were there no king like him. Read on. Who was beloved of his God. And God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Man, you better understand these things. A lot of people dealing with a woman not in his truth. She might pull you out. Might be good for you, man. I don't know. I'm going to fall back this week, man. He want to be around that, that evil, wicked sister. Better understand these things. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 25. Because Solomon, he got his thoughts back together before the Most High put him to death. <laughs> Read this. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 25. I applied mine heart to know and to search. See, he applied his mind, read. And to seek out wisdom and the wisdom of things, and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death, the woman. What? The woman. Read that again. And I find more bitter than death, the woman. Man, sometimes these women, they, they say things that emotion. Read. Whose heart. Whose is, mind. Is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. Who so pleaseth God shall escape from her. See, you got to please the most high. That's the only way you're going to escape. Read. But the sinner. But who? But the sinner. But the what? But the sinner. Read. Shall be taken by her. Because you're not in this truth. You're going to be taken. Read on. Behold, this have I found, said the, said the preacher. Now we understand that preacher is King Solomon. Read. Counting one by one to find out the account. Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those things have I not found. Read on. Lo, this only have I found, that God had made man upright. The ones that's keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. See, now King Solomon is coming back to his senses. Read. But they have sought out many inventions. Inventions of sin. All y'all got them the toys at home, better go throw them in the trash. Those are those inventions, the white man invention. I seen on Facebook, they got a, a, a dog now. You know, you got the, got the whole dog, you pay $1,500 to come in a box. What kind of madness is going on, man? This is what you do, lay up in the... Matter of fact, I think they caught somebody on the, uh, the tollway. He had it buckled in his car. <laughs> they were going on a date to the movies. <laughs>
I wanted to, I wanted did he pay for a ticket for her? <laughs> yeah, this kingdom wicked man. Let's go back to these ashes one and eighteen. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 18. For in much wisdom is much grief. See, in a lot of this understanding, man, and much wisdom, there's grief because you get to see things that, that, that flex your spirit, man. You get to see how people's in the condition that they are and knowing that who they are. Read. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Because, man, when you start seeing your family, the people that you're close to, your children, your wife, your husband, it increases sorrow because you know they're going to be put to death. There's no use of jumping out in the ocean when you know they're going to drizzle out. Better stay on that boat. <laughs> Second Samuel 7 and 12. Let's get into the meat. It was some reason why I showed you that earlier about Christ being born and at what age he was. It's always parallels in the Bible. Read that 2 Samuel 7 and 12. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 12. <clears throat> and when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee. See, that seed is that sperm. That's your that's that that's that male child that comes. That's the only way. Because if a man got all daughters, his lineage is over with. You have to have a son to keep your, keep, matter of fact, just your last name. It stopped because that daughter marries another man, she got another last name. Read. Which shall proceed out of thy bowels. That's where it comes from, out of your bowels, read. And I will establish his kingdom. See, he would establish, establish King Solomon's kingdom. Let's go to Romans 1 and 3. I said this a few uh, months ago. A lot of people was asking questions. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 3. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made, which was made of the seed of David. He come out of that bloodline, man. I don't understand how a Christian can read this and not understand this. When you look up seed in the uh, Zonderville Bible Dictionary, it's three different seeds. Got your agricultural. Hey, Judah, matter of fact, get it right quick for me. So they won't think I'm playing. Uh, page 532 in the Zonderville Bible. Out of the Zondering Compact Bible Dictionary, the word seed. There is a threefold usage of this word in the scripture. Just go one, go to the one, two, and three. One, agricultural. Two, physi physiological. And three, figur figurative. Matter of fact, when you go to that figurative, it's here seed means descendant or genealogy. So. That's the sperm. You know, just like a a, a, a tree or or you why you think your fruits and vegetables don't have seeds in them now? It's the so-called white man here have these are these are monster food we eating. Right. I'm telling y'all the truth. So they 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 splashing everything, the genes and everything and creating everything, man. You might see some kind of animal running around her soon that he don't create it. <laughs> Tell me what they're doing, man. Let's go back. Romans 1 and 3. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 3. Concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Flesh, sex. Let's go back. 2 Samuel 7 and 13. It might get heavy for some people, man. Especially I ain't been in this truth for a minute. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 13. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Okay, right there. 
That's that's a problem. How long was King Solomon throne? How long did he rule? Forty years. Read that again. He shall build an house for my name. This is King Solomon right here. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Read. I will be his father. He will be what? His father. Now that's another key word. His father. Read. And he shall be my son. His what? He, my son. So now y'all starting, starting to get it? Read on. If he commit iniquity. If he commit sin, which he did, read. I would chasten him with the rod of men. Did Solomon ever get chastened with the rod of man? No. It never happened. Read. And with the stripes. With the what? And with the stripes. And with the the whip. Of the children of men. With the children of men, the other nations. Let's go to Hebrews 1 and 5. We're going to read it down to verse 8. Hebrews 1 and 5. The book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 5. 1, verse 5? Yeah, Hebrews 1 and 5. 1 and 5. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son. So, anybody get that? Read it again. <laughs> for unto which of the angels said he at any time. For the Most High saying, For which unto any of the angels. Read. Said he at any time. <laughs> Thou art my son. He, when did he do this? He just did it to King Solomon. Read on. It'll clear it up, man. I know you right now. Read. This day have I begotten thee. Read. And again. And what? And again. And what? And again. Then you know that he was talking about Yahweh Shah. <laughs> Read. I will be to him a father. He will be what? Unto him a father. Read. And he shall be unto be to me a son. Hold on, let me go back. Judah, read uh uh 2 Samuel 7 and 14. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. That's all I need. Now let's go back over here. Let's read Hebrews uh 1 and 5 again. The book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 5. For unto which of the angels said he at any time? Thou art my son. Read on. This day have I begotten thee. Read. And again. And what? And again. Read. I will be to him a father. Read. And he shall be to me a son. Read on. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world. That's Jehovah shall Adam read. He said, and let all the angels of God worship him. Read. And the and of the angels he said, Who maketh his angels spirits? And his ministers a flame of fire. Read. But unto the Son he said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness and the scepter of thy kingdom. Let's go to Isaiah 53 and 5. Let's do with that. Judah, read me uh, 2 Samuel 7 and 14 again. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. Read on. And with the stripes of the children of men. See, that's all we need. Hold that right there. Let's go to Isaiah 53 and 5. The book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. See, read on. He was bruised for our iniquity. Read. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. So, it's letting you know. Read that again in 2 Samuel again. At the last part, I will what? I will. I will chasten him with the rod of men. See, the, with the rod of men, the other nations. The Romans, read. And with the stripes of the children of men. See, read that last part again. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes... We are healed. Now let's go to, let's give it, let's finish it out. First Peter 2 and 24. At least y'all had a precept. We should have some questions after the class. 
First Peter's two and four, man. Let me see, make sure that what I want. First Peter's two and twenty-four. The book of First Peter, chapter two, verse twenty-four. Of his own self bear. First Peter's two and twenty-four. First Peter's chapter two, verse twenty-four. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. See, it's precept upon precept, man. It might be a little too much for some of y'all. Let's go back to, let's go to Ecclesiastes. Let's, let's get some more understanding on this. I have brought this out in the class, but I want to get more clarification. I was like, I can bring it back out here again. Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. See, because some of y'all don't think y'all been here before either. Some of y'all don't think y'all back in the back in the day create havoc back then. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 4. One generation passeth away. Read. And another generation cometh. Read on. But the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down. And hasten to his place where he arose. See, letting you know, we just read about this sun being moving. Because they teach us the earth go around the sun, don't it? No, the sun go around the earth. Read on. The wind goeth toward the south. The wind, now this kill that flat earth doctrine. The wind goeth towards the south. Read. And turn it about unto the north. And it comes right back to the north. It's, it's a circular thing, just like life. Read. It whirleth around continually. It whirleth about continually. And the wind returneth again according to his circuits. Read on. All the rivers run into the sea. All the rivers run into the sea. Read. Yet the sea is not full. Why the sea and them coastal islands don't flood? Read. Unto the place from whence the rivers come. Tither they return again. Read on. All things are full of labor. Read. Man cannot utter it. Man cannot really understand this. Read. The eye is not satisfied with seeing. Read. Nor the ear filled with hearing. Nor the ear filled with hearing. Read verse 9. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be. See, the thing is you that has been, which is that shall be. Read. And the thing which is done is that which shall be done. Let's read it again, verse 9. Verse 9. The thing that had been. The spirit of a man is that thing, read. It is that which shall be. It shall come back again, read. And that which is done is that which shall be done. Read on. And there is no new thing under the sun. These, these, same, these same spirits are coming back. There's no new thing under the sun. Ain't no new spirits coming, man. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 6 and 10. Read it. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 10. That which had been is named already. See, that person, that which has been is named already, read. And it is known that it is man. It is a man or woman. Read. Neither may he. Neither may he contend with him. Neither may he contend with the most high. That is mightier than he. See. You've been here. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 1 and 10 now. This is why y'all a lot of people don't understand this. This is what they'll never teach us. That's why they teach us fear. That's why they teach us all their movies, fear tactics on us. Because if you knew you come back, would you be afraid to die? No. That's why I say, be not afraid of him that can kill the soul and body. That's who you should be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of him that can just kill the body. But see, he used that to his benefit, and you can see that it have been through our women. He have really perpetuated that because she teaches the children now. And why you think he separated the children from the man in this early 70s with housing? Now it's coming back to bite the woman. 
Every woman that's got housing in Section H and food stamp, Trump finna cut them. So a lot of them finna be out here on the street. Some of them gonna have to fall in line now. I seen a woman on a video talking about, oh, these men, they hating, they, they loving this. No. These women got these houses. You go stay with them. Shit, you be outside. She get mad because she emotional. Never a woman should be over a house. Always the man, cause he's not gonna deal with the emotions. So now you finna start finding out. Uh, give me Isaiah four and one. Let me show you something. A lot of women they don't like these precepts. I don't know about that one. You know what I'm saying? You know that's a little too tough for me. <laughs> Isaiah 4 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 1. In that day, the last day, seven women shall take hold of one man. See, because what ha what's happening? Read on. Saying, we will eat our own bread. We will what? Eat our own bread. Read. And wear our own apparel. Read on. Let us be called by thy name. Now they want to be called by their true name. Read. To take away our reproach. To take away that, that hate that what you're going through. I understand, man. See, a lot of women going to have to be put to death because they're... <laughs> These things are going to happen. If you watch the, the stuff that's going on now, our sisters, a lot of our sisters have been sitting on their tail for years. I seen a movie where, I think it was, Don't Be a Menace While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. <laughs> One dude was like, man, we done been raised up four generations on food stamps, man. <laughs> <laughs> he let you know, man. Let's go back to first uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 10. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 10. And let me clarify this. Every man doesn't have to accept these things because he can, some men will stay with their wives. You know, so it ain't got nothing to be accepted, but hey, how many wives did King Solomon have? How many concubines did he have? So how many women did he have? <laughs> Read verse 10, man. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 10. Is there anything whereof, whereof it may be said? Is there any man of there whereof it may be said? See, this is new. See, that person is new. It had already been an old time. It already had been here before. They already had been here, read. Which was before us. Read on. There is no remembrance of former things. There is no remembrance of what you did in the past, read. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come. And there, and, and there shall be any, read it again. Neither, there is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. See, let's go to Romans 15 and 4. Hey, Jeroboam. Nice missing, so. Romans 15 and 4. Let's go to Romans 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. What? Whatsoever things was written before times, read. Were written for our learning. So what we're doing now, we're learning what was written that was written aforetime. All it's doing is bringing it back into our memories of things that were, what went on in the past. Read on. That we, through that patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. This is the only way we're going to have hope. There is no other way. Who needs saving? Do the so-called white man need saving? Do the so-called uh, Japanese need saving? Chinese, Africans. What other nation of peoples need saving? We the only one need need that hope. Because we done for here. Let's go to Job 19.25. Job 
Job 1925. Let's see what the prophet Job was speaking on. And and, and, and one camp talking about Job is an Edomite, man. That camp needs to just burn up. <laughs> man, sick of these people with this, this garbage, man. Read. The book of Job, chapter 19, verse 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth. He know that his Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, liveth, read. That he shall stand in the latter days. He's going to stand in these last days, man. He's going to stand in these last days. Read. Upon the earth. Let's get that, man. Let's go to Zechariah 14, 3 and 4. The prophecies are going to be fulfilled. Read it. The book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 3. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. What is he going to do? Fight against those nations. Why don't they ever pull this out? Why is he going to fight against those nations for us? Read. As when he fought in the day of the battle. Read on. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives. Read on. Which is before Jerusalem. On the east. That's where we're going to be going soon. Read. And the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof, toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great, great valley. Read on. And a, ha and a half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and the half of it toward the south. You know what's going to be in the middle? The lake of fire. That's what's going to be in the middle. That's where you're going to be tossing some of these peoples at, man. Some of these wicked spirits, man. Woo. Let's go back to Job. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to Joel 3.16. Joel 3.16. The book of Joel. Chapter 3, verse 16. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people. What is he going to be? Be the hope of his people. To the twelve tribes of Israel. Read on. And the strength of the children of Israel. See, you wonder why they don't pull these precepts. Job knew this. Let's go back to Job 9 and 26 now. Let's see what Job say out of his own mouth. The book of Job, chapter 19, verse 26. And though after my skin, worms destroyed this body. See, he was dead and gone, read. Yet in my flesh. Yet in his skin again, read. Shall I see God. Read on. Whom? I shall see for myself. He's going to see him for himself, read. And mine eyes shall behold, and not another. See, he's letting you know he's going to see him in that same body. His eyes is going to see Yahweh Shai himself. And he's not going to be in another body, read. Though my reins be consumed within me. See, that body, that rain is talking about the body. Let's go to Matthew 17 and 10. A lot of people, you know, when you start pulling these precepts out, a lot of people that might be watching this video might not, man, that's just too much for me. No, nah, that didn't happen. Read it. The book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 10. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must come first? See, they're saying, Why then the scribes say Elijah must come first? Why? Let's go to Malachi 4 and 5. So a lot of people going to be watching this video going to be like, what you going to say against these precepts, man? You're, you're in a no-win situation. You know my favorite thing, drop dead. <laughs> Malachi 4 and 5. The book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 5. Behold. I will send you Elijah. This, this is the most high. This is the same thing he's saying right there. Behold, I will send you Elijah. Read. The prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Read. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth 
with a curse. See, a lot of people don't understand. How do we learn about this chart? That's where that information came from, man. That chart wasn't being taught before the 60s. Some people knew they was Israelites, but they couldn't tell you what, what, how where the tribes was. They couldn't break down Deuteronomy 49 and, and uh, I mean, uh, Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33. You put those two together, and you'll, it'll, it'll show you where these, these other Israelites are. We all in captivity. Not one tribe is not sitting somewhere in Israel or still got their own land in Ethiopia. That is not happening, man. All 12 tribes went into captivity. Let's go back to Matthew 17 and 11. The book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 11. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elijah truly shall come first and restore all things. You hear that? He had to restore these things to our memory, man. Because without that, we still be calling ourselves by words. Read on. Verse 12. <coughs> but I say unto you that Elias is come already. He's come already, read. And they knew him not. And they knew him not, read. But have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall the Son of Man suffer of them. Read on. Verse 13. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them. John the Baptist. That's who Elijah was. <laughs> Revelations 10 and 11. This is John the Baptist again. The book of Revelation, chapter 10, verse 11. And he said unto me, And Yahweh shall said unto John the Baptist, read, Thou must prophesy again. Thou must prophesy again, read. Before many people. Before what? Many people. Read. And nations. Read. And tongues and kings. That's what y'all are seeing happening here today. That's what y'all are seeing here happening here today. John 9 and 1. See, we don't know these things, but the other nations knows these things. Read it. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. He was born blind, read. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? Now they asking him, saying, who did sin? So if he was born blind, why is they asking him, who did sin? Read. This man. This man? So, if he was born that way, he must have did it in a previous lifetime. Read. Or his parents. Or his parents, read. That he was born blind. Read on. Jesus answered, Neither had this young had this man seen, nor his parents, but that, but, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. See, most how was using him. But the disciples knew that this man had been here before. See, they understand, we don't understand nothing, man. Our wisdom and understanding was robbed from us. When you go into Hosea 4 and 6, my peoples are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You're getting it. Matthew 24, 34. We're coming to an end. That also answers the question why some people born with disabilities. Too. Right, right. Either you did it in the past or your parents did it in the past. Right. Matthew 24 and 34. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. See, why is he saying that? Ain't they back there in the Romans time? Ain't this around probably uh, 31, 80, 30, 80? Read it again. Verse 34, Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Right now. <laughs> See, those people back then, they right here today. 
<laughs> uh, 2 Samuel 7 and 14. Let us get some clarity on up. Start at 14 and read it down to 16. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 14. I will be his father. See, saying the same thing. Who was who was your high was The most high son, read. And he shall be my son. Read. If he commit iniquity. If he commit sin. I will chasten him with the rod of men. And with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him. Read. As I took it from Saul. Read on. Whom I put away before thee. He, he had to kill, read. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. My throne shall be established forever. Let's go to 2 Peter 1 and 16. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 16. For we have not Follow cunningly. Uh, the, that cunningly is deceitful ways. We have not followed that. That cunningness is Christianity. Uh, Egyptology. Everything outside this truth. Read. Devised fables. Mm -hmm. When we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Read on. Verse 17, for he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son. What did he what did he say? This is my beloved son. What did he call Solomon? His son, didn't he? Read on. In whom I am well pleased. Read on. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. These are the disciples speaking right now. This brother, this is the brother Peter Simon, read. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. We are also a sure word of these prophecies, read. Unto where unto you ye do well that ye take that ye take heed as a to a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Read on. Knowing this first, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. None, read. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but by holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. See, a lot of us don't understand this. Proverbs 8 and 1. We still look at each other like niggas. Proverbs 8 and 1. We're going to read it down to verse 13. We'll end it on there. The book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 1. Doth not wisdom cry? Does not wisdom cry? Read. And understanding put forth her voice? Read on. She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. And she cried at the gates. This is wisdom. Read. At the entry of the city, at the coming in, in at the, the doors. <clears throat> Unto you, O men, I call. Hold up, read that part again. Verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. That's talking about men and women. This, this is what wisdom does, read. And my voice is to the sons of man. And his voice in this Bible is to the sons of man, read. O ye simple, understand wisdom. Read. And ye fool. What, ye what? And ye fool. Read. Be ye of an understanding heart. Of an understanding mind, read. Hear. What? Here, read. For I will speak of excellent things. Read on. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth. And it says what? And my mouth, for my mouth shall speak truth. The Bible, these laws, read. And wickedness is an abomination unto my lips. Read on. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Read. They are all plain to him that understand it. They are all plain to him or her that understand it, read. And write to them that find knowledge. That find what? That find knowledge. Read on. Receive my instructions. Do what? Receive my instructions. Read. And not silver. Not silver. Silver. Read on. And knowledge rather than choice gold. See, because some of our people, that's what they won't read. 
for wisdom is better than rubies. W wisdom is better than anything on this planet, man. Read. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. You can't compare nothing to this, man. Read. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Read. Pride. What? Pride. Read. Arrogancy. Read. And the evil way. Read on. And the forward mouth. Boy, that got to be stopped. Read. Do I hate? That's it on this, man. Salam, man. Salam. So, anybody got questions? Oh, I, we got to get a brother back reading, man.